everyone, there are a lot of things we don't know about Kim Menzies. The 52-year-old Kim became a super fan of 34-year-old Nigerian singer Usman Soja Boy Umar after his debut on 90 Day Fiancé before the 90 Day Season 4. So Kim relentlessly pursued Usman and the couple are now engaged to be married as per their 90 Day Fiancé happily ever after Season 7 storyline. This you do know about Kim, but did you know she used to serve in the military? In fact, Kim started her military career at 19 years old and was in the army from 1989 to 1996 and during that time she fought in Desert Storm. Many fans are typically shocked when they hear this about her and I... I, I can understand, but she regularly talks about this on 90 Day Fiancé. Her time in the army is the reason for her awkward gait which has concerned numerous fans since they first saw her walk on screen. Kim seems to walk with her knees bent inwards which makes it look as if she's knock-kneed. Kim explains that when she was in the army she was airborne which meant she had to jump out of the plane quite a few times. Kim further explains that she was born with a dislocated hip and ended up dislocating her hip again during her stint in the army. She further seems to have arthritis in one of her hips which can be extremely painful. Kim says she will be seeing a doctor soon to figure out how to treat her knee and hip since her walking continues to get worse. Furthermore, her new job doesn't help since it requires her to walk down several flights of stairs, but when she walks up the stairs, she realizes that her knees have started to bend more than they were before. Thus, she is thinking about getting surgery to help fix her knee and hip problem. There is even talk about a hip replacement in the next 10 years. There have been many couples on 90 Day Fiancé that have a significant age gap, such as Nikki and Mark and even Jenny and Smeet. Jenny, being 30 years older than Smeet, have been getting older and experiencing weakness in her body. In time, if these couples do stay together, they will face obvious problems when it comes to health. In a recent episode, Jenny slipped and fell while Smeet was not at home. Smeet had to rush home and take Jenny to the ER and although nothing was broken, She's been in severe pain resulting in her taking a physiotherapist's help. Hopefully, um, things get better for her. That's really crappy to hear. In time, Kim and Usman may face a similar situation as their 90 Day Fiancé co-stars Jenny and Sumit. Furthermore, if Kim does decide to undergo surgery, Usman will have to take care of her when she's in recovery or... <laughs> another one of his wives. Kim has been trying though by walking more because it is better for her hips and knees as per advice from medical professionals and fans alike. Plus, she is well aware that many 90 day enthusiasts call her knock need, but she doesn't care. She doesn't about the negative comments when it comes to her relationship since that is just being a part of the show and just chooses to ignore it. Well, I wish the best for Kim and I do hope that a health professional, a medical health professional can help her in her situation, especially when it comes to her knees. I'm always in support of veterans and that is what Kim is. She is a veteran and I will always support my veterans. So I wish her the best positive vibes her way, all the positivity that she needs and deserves. And I just wish a positive outcome to her entire situation. Other than that, hey, that's it. Leave me a like, leave me a comment about this situation. What do you think? What's the best thing for Kim? What's the best thing for Usman? And don't forget to subscribe and I will speak to you later. Take care.